Hello guys and girls and welcome back it's your boy Big John and I'm here to tell you how I was able to make $800 trading gold. Now guys and girls this is a very short quick and simple video and I'm sure you're going to love this one guys and girls. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and that notification bell. Let's get straight into it. Okay so first and foremost let's get into the nitty gritty and this is my discord area. It's called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yes it is based on the book and within this group what I'm actually doing is giving out gold analysis every single week for free and this is to any single person that joins my discord the link is in the description below you can literally just come into my discord and this is one of the sections and i've been giving out analysis on gold every single week pretty much for over two years you can scroll all the way back up and see all of the information i have actually been given out now when it comes to trading view this is the analysis on the chart yes there are a few things here at the moment but i'm going to go through each and every one of these stages whilst we're here so let's pay attention to the liquidity first. Liquidity in the market is literally where the market has to go towards in order for them to actually move price in another direction. Liquidity is always resting at the highs and is resting at the lows of price action. So literally from here, going up to around this area here, coming back down to this area over here, going back up to here, down to here and up to here again. This is liquidity at all of those highs and those lows. So you can see where my initial analysis was actually based with these lines appear in here now we are on the four hour time frame so this is supposed to help you guys and girls out and this is a little cheat code for you to be able to find out when price action could be going for a certain four hour liquidity in order for it to reverse so if you switch on your automatic fibonacci this indicator will be in the description below and it does actually do this where it squashes your chart just switch it off move your price on the right over here just a little bit and then switch it back on now you can see it didn't squash price what the automatic fibonacci is doing for us is it will automatically show us fib levels and it will show us the highest point and the lowest point as well which is great now that we have that in play the next thing we're going to be looking for here is if price action is at the low where it is at the moment then we're looking for all of the liquidities below on the four hour chart which will be the highs or the lows of course being the lows and we can see here so this is sell side liquidity and this is sell side liquidity here on the four hour chart again that is why i have these levels marked up and why i gave them out in my discord for free to every single person now the next thing i have managed to notice here is a demand level that's actually here as well because we can see price action actually bought up here and when it bought up here it actually broke structure right over here so this told me that this is a valid demand level coming from here and it will be the last buy candle that actually happened from the wick to the wick and that's where my zone would be and that would be going all the way across you can see our price action came back down to it and bought off of this level again all the way up to here and even going up to here off of that one demand level so i had the demand level here again for present day purposes and now let's see what actually happens with price action as we move it forward So right now we have seen on Thursday the 25th of May, price action has hit our first liquidity area, meaning the market has grabbed the money it needs to for it to possibly move in a buy direction. It is always best to wait for a break of structure on the lower time frame. And if you do struggle with what a break of structure is, I have a video attached right over here in the top corner, which gives you a full breakdown of what break of structures are in the market. And that video does specifically cover gold, but it does work out for every single trading instrument. So we did see a little impulsive buy, but let's keep going and see what happens. Now, this was the bank holiday Monday where this move actually occurred. And yes, you can see our target one actually did get hit. I was still holding this trade because I believe that price action is going to go up to this imbalance. And imbalance is just the price that is left behind on a massive impulsive candle between the wick to the wick here. So we can literally see the imbalances in between this zone and price action likes to go and touch those areas, reject off of them or actually clear them. And right now we can see what happened here with this massive impulsive buy and price action actually buying up. So we're just going to go down to a lower time frame just so you're going to be able to see what was actually happening around that area. And when we go down to the lower time frame, this is all the action that started to happen with the liquidity grab. You can see how clear the liquidity grab is. It will usually be an impulsive move because they want to hurry up and grab that money before they shift the market again. Sometimes they do consolidate first because they need to gather more liquidity. That's called an inducement, meaning they're just grabbing more oil 
orders, basically taking out people's stop losses and being able to activate their actual orders to take the move higher or lower. What we would have been looking for here the first time is we can see straight away over here, there was a break of structure here and our stop loss would have just been below this level here. And we would have been taking this trade up towards again, these highs here, which is this level here. Now price action didn't go all the way up there. That's fine. There was enough pips that you could have made here for a nice scalp trade to make one or two percent. Of course, price action did eventually come back down and it did stop anybody out that didn't get their target. Now we've had another liquidity sweep going all the way down to this level here, which was our second liquidity level. And it was an activation for this week for a buy trade. We had a break of structure right over here in the market, right here on this candle. So when this candle broke out, our entry would have been just right here. Our stop loss would just be below this level here. And of course we will be looking to take our buy trade back up to TP1 or TP2, etc. So right over here, we can see this is MT4. And right now I am showing you Neo. You do have the dashboard up here, which shows you all the trend of pairs, the ADR, which is your take profit one, your take profit two. And this shows you four hour chart volatility. This one over here shows you one hour chart volatility. And you can see a multi time frame break of structure or change of character on the chart. As you can see, they are mapped out over here. What is perfect for us in this setup is the original setup here did have a demand level here and price action did actually buy up. But in order to not be put in these fake out trades, because you can see it went back down one more time. Now, what we do see over here is what we're looking for. We want price action to buy up. We want it to find a support level as it's bought up, because then we can see that there was a shift in the market, as we can see from this break of structure. And we can also see a change of character here. And then the next thing we're going to be looking for is price action to form a support. We can see a support level has been formed over here in this green box. Price action came back down to retest this area. And before price action even got to this area, as the box would have already been there for you, what you can easily have done is just put a buy limit right here in the market. And you would have been activated into this trade from this area over here. Now, as soon as you got activated into this trade, your stop loss would just be at the bottom of this box here. You would be looking for a 2,620 pip take profit. So again, this has gone about 1,890 pips. So the market might still move a little bit more, but that is a considerable amount of pips for you to make money whilst trading gold. And a very safe method for you to wait for the market to change trend and then eventually give you a new support. So basically a break and a retest and a continuation. Now here we can see that the market didn't really have that massive impulsive move. So that could have actually been a broker issue on trading view. We can see on this broker here, which is eight cap, that move did not happen on the bank holiday Monday. Anybody that was in the trade from this first breakout, they may have lost this trade setup. But right now I'm gonna show you a picture on the chart as to why you would not have lost that trade setup using Neo. So with this picture, you can see right now at the bottom of the picture, there is a demand level, but notice that there is no new continuation of a demand level after price action bought up. Now heading back over to the chart here, remember, look, we've seen price action has bought up and we can see above that level with the break of structure and the change of character that there is a new demand level here, showing us that there's a shift in the market momentum and direction and possibly a nice level of support, basically a floor, which has given us an indication that price action can continue. So this is how the NEO indicator can help you even get a safer entry on the other side of the buy trade after doing your analysis based on that four hour liquidity strategy I have shown you on trading view. Guys and girls, this indicator is 150 GBP for lifetime access and there is 14 spaces left. You do not want to miss out as this is a limited time offer and the price will go up once it is completed. I can't stress enough to you guys and girls how this is great for you. And not only that, you're going to get all of these VIP services as you can see on the screen right now. Guys and girls, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Big John and I'm out. Peace. Starting from the bottom like Drake. Got that young Mula, but I learned my mistakes. Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes. If you wanna be the boss, then you have to delegate.